So here are some Malayan pit vipers. These are Calicelasma rhodostoma. These small snakes have a pretty interesting venom that is highly hemorrhagic in a bite. And their venom has been used quite a bit in research for stroke and other clotting disorders. As of right now, that, now, that venom is actually not being used in any human use because it had a lot of side effects where it caused clotting problems in places where we didn't want it to. But it's still a pretty interesting venom and there still are people doing some research with it um, because of those uh, really strong clotting factors. And so we still maintain a few of them here. Interestingly, this is one of the few pit vipers that lays eggs. And the mother snakes will actually wrap around the eggs and uh, hang out with them and protect them, which is pretty cool. Malayans in general are not very large. These are adult males in this particular video. And the females do get a little bit bigger than the males do, but they're not giant snakes by any stretch of the imagination. And now here's a little bit about bringing in and receiving antivenom. Great, so we just got in a shipment of antivenom from the Thai Red Cross, which is in uh, Thailand. And this is not all ours, this is several zoos, a uh, group order, uh, as we do fairly frequently. And so I'll just show you uh, what's in here and what we do. So we got several different kinds. Uh, we have the two polyvalents that they make. Um, so this one is the neuropolyvalent for crates, cobras, and king cobras in Thailand. This one is the hematopolyvalent, which is basically not neurotoxic things. So Russells, Malayans, and green pit vipers. And then we have uh, several of the monovalents or individual antivenoms. So we have the king cobra, the green pit viper, if I can get a box out to show you. That's the Thai language one on that side. Cool. This one is Russell's. And this is the Cobra. I always like these boxes because they're English on one side and and tie on the other, which is kind of fun. And so every time we get a shipment of antivenom in, we always have to go through each box individually and make sure that nothing is broken. And so to do that, we just open them up, which their boxes are very stiff. And inside, there is the vial for reconstitution, so it's just sterile water. And then this vial down here is the actual antivenom. I'm a close up. I'll get that out to show you. And Thai antivenom is lyophilized, so it is good for a long time. The shelf date or the shelf life on these is five years. Probably good a lot longer than that. And then also in each box, just so you can see, they have a package insert, just like any drug. And it just has basic instructions on what it treats, how to use it, how to store it. I think we're both shaking on that. It's a tie on the other side. 